somebody who wrote some bad, it is really bad. I am passionate about my village of Ver. I am passionate about my village of Verna. <coughs> I I I always feel what this how does this village tick? Is it only some ca ca elitist caste that works well, or is it all everybody else in the village? And then I I got to hear this song by uh, written by C. R. for the movie Nirmal, sung by Robin Vash, who is very I mean vivacious. The song goes like this. Who has built the bridges for you, the workers, the kunbis? Who has mined for you, the workers, the kunbis? Rana ji shar kya lai kone aura reni. Who has converted forests into cities for you? The workers, the kunbis. Gaon sudrae lai kone aurae reni. Who has built the beautiful villages for you? The workers, the kunbis. Pulte ban lai kone aurae reni. Who has built the bridges for you? The workers, the kunbis. However, one line jumped at me. I knew all the rest. I knew about the bridges. I knew about the shara. I knew about the all the things. But one line jumped at me. Who is the one who has dug up, dug up the mines for you? And it lost me. Were there mines in Salsi? I never heard of mines in Salsi. What exactly was it referring to? Who are they referring to? Which kunis are these who used to work in the mines? And I'll answer, which kunis were these? Did they belong to my village of Arna? Did the mining areas of Sankili and Adwal Pare have kunis as their laborers? I decided to go around asking. A tavern at seven in the evening is the right place and the happiest place to meet laborers. Back from work, enjoying a bag or two before they go back home. I question, do you know any of these people from our village who could have worked in the mine some years back? Great big smiles. You have reached a bit late. These older people, most of them are dead. There are chuckles all around. But as they see my very disappointed look, the discussion widens. The taverns at seven are lively places full of people. At last, Francis said, meet Gama the Poloikar. In villages, you have all sorts of monikers. You call people all sorts of things. My family, for some reason, is called Kotet, and we still don't know why. Do, do, don't you know where he lives? Yes, yes, I know him very well. Nikolao Gama lives very far on the border of the village of Verna and the adjoining village of Nube. I drive my very reluctant son and we go to Nikolao's house, situated in the serene surroundings with paddy fields on every side and a garden with an areca palms and pepper growing in profusion. Pleasantry is done, I strictly I quickly plunge in street street. Nikolau, did you ever work in the mines? Oh, he hums and falls for a minute. And I can see it is an uncomfortable question. I was too young to work in the mines, a young boy. My father worked in the Sisai mines. He glances at me for a moment. It is not as you think, he says. It is not as if my father went alone. Our entire family moved on to the mines. I'm astounded. The entire family, he realizes I really am interested, so he goes on. We closed and locked our small houses. We took everything with us, utensils, bedding, rice, clothes, everything. And we went to see science. We had very little possessions of our own. The hamlets where we always lived were practically empty, maybe, some elderly people lingered on, some old and too tired to undertake such a long journey. But by and large, by and large, everybody was. The story of my village the, is very interesting. If you really take the trouble to know how other people lived 
what did they do? What hardships they went through? And for that, you have to buy the book. Thank <laughs> you.